Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I'm actually really excited about this video because I've wanted to do a Q&A for so very long now, but I was always so nervous to put that little picture on Instagram and ask you guys for any questions you had for me because I was terrified they'd just be pure tumbleweed going along. So anyway, yesterday I went for it, jumped in, I said, ask me questions, if not, let the tumbleweed roll. And I was so overwhelmed with how many questions I got asked. So this is gonna be my first ever Q&A on my channel. I'm gonna to have to do it in two parts though because I did get asked loads and loads of questions. So this is gonna be my part uno. And then next week I'll put my next part on as well. So let's get straight into my Q&A. Right, so the first question is by Mrs. Reeve. Hello. She asked me, when did I move to the UK? So I moved to the UK from South Africa when I was eight. I've got absolutely no accent left because my mum and dad said I was here for 10 days and literally my accent went. And apparently I had the strongest South African accent ever and it just went and now I actually sound quite posh and no one can believe that I now live in Essex because I don't sound like I'm from there at all. But when I moved from South Africa, I then went to live in Buckinghamshire, which is where my accent is from. Um, right, Carly Booty, is that how you say your surname? Booty, boot, boot, B-O-O-T-E, booty, booty. Uh, are you planning on staying in your gorgeous newly renovated house? Well, for anyone who knows me, you will know I love a project. So I feel like I've done this house now, I'm ready to move on. <laughs> I know loads of people don't understand why I love doing this, but it's just like a little bug inside me. So I feel like I've done this one, I've, I've given it all I can give, it's now time to move on. So I am on right move every day to see what other um, houses come up, but I just haven't found anything yet. I think it would be nice if maybe March next year we found something, I think that'd be quite a nice bit of time to be in this house and enjoy it and have the winter near the log burner because that for me is really important. K-A-E wink, I'm not sure how you'd say that, K-A-E wink. What is your favorite thing to do for yourself alone to de-stress? That is a really good question actually because I, even though the boys are at school, I do have a lot of me time, but I'm not one of those people who really like pampers themselves. I don't really know what to do. So every now and then I'll think, oh, I really fancy having a bath. So I'll go and run the bath, put candles in. I'm in there for about three minutes and I think, oh, not really enjoying this. I feel like I'm bathing in my own skin. So I get out. So to be honest with you, I don't really do loads of things to de-stress. I don't feel like I've got loads of stress in my life, which I'm quite fortunate about. But um, I do like online shopping. That kind of de-stresses me, but then it stresses me out as well because Chris will shout at me for spending money. So I don't really have any one thing in particular that I do to de-stress. I think actually, since having Lulu, my doggy, I like going for walks and I love going for family walks. So I guess that and, I don't know, going out for lunch with my friends, love that. Right, so Sharon has asked, what would be your dream job apart from YouTube? So forever in my life, I have wanted to be a TV presenter. And it's really funny actually, because I um, recently worked for a property channel and I was presenting, doing kind of property things, but it wasn't, it wasn't like, I wasn't going to houses, which is what I want to be doing, or location, 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 or a place in the sun. That's the kind of presenting I want to do. It wasn't that kind of presenting. It was just kind of sit down interviewing property developers and things like that. So it was a very interesting job, but I actually much prefer YouTube. So if I could choose another job, I'd probably want Holly Willoughby's job on, um, this morning. I mean, that's not out of reach, is it? So that would be my dream job, if I'm totally honest. Right, so Kerry H26 has asked, where did you get the idea and inspiration to start vlogs? Well, there were two things. One was I went to do a presenting course for a weekend. So I went into London. It was a course where they sort of taught you a bit of what to do and they also made you a showreel. So when I left, they said to me, you need to start vlogging. This was probably about three years ago now, and I remember thinking, what the hell is vlogging? I have no idea what it is. So I told Chris, I got home, and he's so sweet, he bought me like a tripod, he bought me this like director's chair and everything, so he was really, really supportive, but I just never got going with it. And then my friend, 
Emily Norris started vlogging and kept saying, come on, you should start, you should start, you should start. And I just never really got it. Um, and it was only really the kind of Christmas time last year, so 2016, that I really thought, okay, I'm gonna give this a go. And I stuck to a schedule and I kind of was uploading more often. But those are the two places that I kind of got myself going with it. It was the presenting course and my friend Emily who was doing it too. Okay, so Nicole and baby M has asked, do you think you'll have more children? Right, so let me get comfortable for this one. Okay. Ask Chris's question, he says no. If I ever say to him, oh, I feel a bit sick, you know, no, you do, you just sometimes have days where you feel a bit ill. He'll be like, are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? Because if you are, let's, let's quickly find out so it's not too late to do anything about it. And so that's what he's like. But I think if he was keen for another one, I would probably be keen for another one. But now our children are five and seven. I feel like we are past all the nappies, we're past all the really hard days and they're both at school. Our lives are pretty easy and our lives are pretty good right now. You know, we can have lions in the weekend. We have just got Lulu the dog and I would probably say at the moment, she is like my third child because she's not potty trained. Potty training a dog is really hard. So no, my answer to that question is no, we are not planning on having any more children. Even though we'd like a girl, but no, we're not gonna have any more. So Lou and Drew actually also asked that question saying, what made you decide to stop at two, ch two children? Would you consider trying for another one one day? So yeah, no, I decided to stop at two because I found having children really, really difficult. Even though I loved children before, I was kind of like a, um, I don't know, I, every time I'd see a baby, I'd want to cuddle it and things. But as soon as I had my own, I thought, oh my word, they are really, really hard work. So anyone who has more than two children, I kind of take my hat off to you. Anyone who has more than three children, I kind of think you're crazy. So, yeah, I did find kids really hard work. So that is the reason we decided to stop at two. And I just felt like for Chris and I, our relationship was a bit strained when our kids were younger because we would argue about such silly things like who was the last person to change the last nappy and I got up last time to feed them, it's your turn, because you just do end up arguing about the most silly, silly things. So that is another reason why we decided not to have any. Right, Family Robinson said, where do you hope to be in five years time? So I do actually have a five year plan. Um, Chris is now 30, but in football terms, because Chris plays professional football, that is getting on a bit. I know that sounds ridiculous because he is only 30, but yeah, in football terms, that is getting on a bit. So he is gonna retire probably when he's about 35. So that is my five year plan. So I wanna just get my channel to a stage where I can say, don't worry about it. I'll look after the family from now on. Maybe I would have done another two houses as well. And so our, we can have a tiny, tiny mortgage, hopefully. That would be nice, my five-year plan. But, you know, we're still quite young, so I'm not sure that's going to happen. Um, yeah, so that is my five-year plan. Right, so Kerry Conway has asked me, how did you meet your husband? So this is actually quite a good story. Well, I think so. Um, I was living up in Peterborough. I was living with my sister after I finished university and Chris was playing for Peterborough United. Yeah, so I was working for a magazine up there and um, I got asked to go and switch on the Christmas lights for the magazine and Peterborough United got asked to switch on the lights as well, the Christmas lights. So we were both, Chris and I were both there, but he was with the team, I was with the magazine. I was handing out sweets and he kept coming over to ask for more sweets and I was like, oh, this guy. So anyway, he kept doing that and then he came up to me and said, can I have your number? And I thought, oh no, you're like a gross footballer. You're... Yeah, so when he asked my number, I said, yeah, sure. And I said, give me your arm, I'll write it on your arm. And I wrote one, two, three, four on his arm. I totally pied him in the face, I love that. <laughs> And then, um, yeah, so then back in the day, that was when MSN was all around and I got home from being out that night and he sent me a message on MSN um, to request like my friendship on MSN and we just started chatting. He kept asking me over for a cup of tea and I kept thinking, no, you're a skanky footballer. And eventually I thought, oh, fine, I'll go because usually if someone does something to make me cringe, it's like game over. And he just never made me cringe. <laughs> and it's so funny, like, I mean, he makes me cringe all the time now, so, but, you know, I've fallen for him now, so it's different, but, um, yeah, so that is how we met. I wooed him with my sweets, and then I pied him in the face, 
Right, so Lucy and the Bump has asked me, who are your favorite YouTubers? Do you read blogs and what's your favorite quote? Ooh, that's a tricky one. Do you know what? I'm not really a blog reader. Is that bad? Because I feel like I should read blogs, but I'm one of those people who, if I'm getting ready, I will put YouTube on and the video's there and I might be watching a bit, but getting my makeup on or something. Whereas if I <laughs> read a blog, I can't multitask. So I love reading books. I read books all the time, but I don't read blogs. I probably should start because I think blogging is huge and I think I can learn a lot from there. But anyway, my favorite YouTubers, my favorite at the moment, the Anna Edit. Oh, I love her. Like she's a really cool YouTuber. She's really down to earth. She's got great style. I love her style. I love the fact as well that she is a fashion YouTuber, but she's not super thin. She's just a natural sized girl. I'm also really loving Tanya Burr. Again, she is a fashion and beauty um, YouTuber and everything she does, everything she wears, everything like she puts on her face, she just looks great. So those two are my absolute favorite YouTubers at the moment. Oh, but guys, also one more the bucket list family. If you do not follow the bucket list family, you need to follow the bucket list family because they are such a cute family. They're basically taking their children and are traveling around the world with them, having the best time of their lives. I would love to do that with my family and I watch their videos with envy because I think, oh, I wish I'd done that when our kids were younger. But with Chris's football, it just makes everything really, it kind of restricts us a lot, so we could never do that, anyway. Um, so yeah, those are my three favorite YouTubers at the moment, and I watch them religiously. Whenever they upload a video, I'm like, watch, 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 watch. So yeah, so thank you so much for watching my first ever Q&A, and like I said, I promise I'll do the next load of questions next week. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you again next time. Bye.